Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and as we are of course getting close to what will be the next version of Windows 10. Um, same guidelines apply for pretty much everybody even though the updates usually roll out pretty well for most people. Some of the comments, some of the things that I will always say is first of all when there is a new update that is soon to appear it will of course requires you to be careful. One of the things that I always say, you know, whether there's a new version of Windows or not, make sure you have a backup of all the important stuff. I mean, the pictures you, you can never replace or the documents that you can never replace. These are very important to actually back up. And it's surprising, but in 2018, the majority of people still don't back up at all. Backup means at least two different places at the same time. So you have your computer, a USB time drive, an external hard drive, in the cloud. Three is even better, cloud and external hard drive and your computer. Chances of all three breaking down are kind of almost impossible. Um, so backups, of course, very important to backup uh, for sure. Yeah, maybe it's time to look at the software you have installed also. Um, you know, uninstall anything that is you're not using. We tend to install software and, and you know after a while we just notice that oh I kinda don't use that at all. Well it's time to um, maybe uninstall anything that is not useful that you're not actually using. This will mean that you know the chances of some update glitch because of maybe a piece of software that has a problem or is incompatible will be minimized that's for sure. Um, another question I've got this week is, well, you know, is it better to clean install the next version of Windows than to upgrade? You know, it all depends. Um, clean install, of course, if, if you've been on several upgrades and haven't clean install, it's not a bad idea at all to clean install, honestly, because it lets you uh, start fresh. Your Windows 10 operating system actually will work better. You know, I clean installed my Toshiba machine here with version um, with the April 2018 update, and the reason why is because it had a glitch and didn't work well. But the clean install worked very well, so the clean install was okay. But I, you know what? I realized how a clean install is really, really good to simply get your PC back up and running fast again. It, you know, clears up all the little glitches and problems that. There might have been. It's not because there's no error messages. It's not because there's no, you know, important glitch that you see that your Windows operating system is perfect. Sometimes in the upgrade, something can could have gone wrong, and you know, makes your system slower, and or creates these weird things that you look at and you're like, hmm, that is weird. Why does it work like this or or do that? But you know what? It's not necessarily the case. If your system is running well, an upgrade could be okay and you know I know that one of the biggest problems with doing a clean install is of course all the, the work behind the fact that you'll want to reinstall your software and you know uh, kind of reconfigure everything which is not always the fun part of a reinstall of Windows so uh, that's for sure and uh, of course when will it appear we don't have official dates yet um, the Last update for the fall update last year was in October. I think it was October 11, something like that. I expect this year's update to be pretty much in October also. It's kind of the timeline. We are getting very close, honestly, in the uh, release of the official new version uh, for Insiders because the last updates were very fast, plus the fact that the list of problems is getting smaller and smaller all the time. We're there. I mean, it's September in a couple of days. We are to the point where in a couple of weeks, two, three weeks from now, insiders might have the real deal. That means usually when the insiders get it, a couple of weeks later, the regular um, Windows 10 rollout will happen. How will it happen also? Well, very, very simple. It will roll out to known good machines first, so not everybody gets it the first day and then we'll start rolling out in waves to users. Now, if the past update showed how fast it could go, 
I think you might be surprised at how fast it will go also for this update in October. One of the things also that's happening is maybe it could be slower also because there are a lot of little problems in the April uh, update this year. So maybe they want to go slower next time. Maybe not. We don't really know. But, uh, uh, you know, pretty much everybody will start having a rollout uh, starting on in October and, of course, in the months ahead. So uh, we'll keep a look on that. We'll talk more about that. We are getting close to something new. So, um, of course, just keep uh, watching this channel. We'll talk about everything Windows that's coming. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.